jealous of bisexuals. I am super jealous of you. You are in a wonderful place. I would love to be bisexual. Say, I wouldn't take a straight pill. Oh, dear God, no, I wouldn't take straight But I'll take a bi pill. I would totally take a bi pill, just expand all the, you know, the things I could do. But yeah. I'm just so tragically, tragically way over on the gay side of the Kennedy scale. So. It's, I would say it's not a tragedy. <laughs> but I'm know, making do. I'm making the best of it. If you're straight or if you're gay, like you can't help it. Like that's just if you're only attracted to one gender, that's that's it. But if you have some wiggle room and you're just not going there because of social pressures, maybe letting go of those social pressures would help you. Get that's paid, what we're all you know? about, you know. Yeah. You know, if you're only a if you're five or wait, the skin kids that are six is gay, one is straight, I think. So if you're like 1.5. That's enough for like snuggling, I think, right? At yeah, least. totally. And yeah. you know, spooning and forking. <laughs> little spooning. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's. I see. Yeah, maybe a little dry humping. Just you know, close on. <laughs> little, you spoon a little, and like, I'm okay with some dry humping. You know, no, just, no penetration. What's the worst that could happen? Just right. try it. You know. Yeah, totally safe. You see these guys? They have these beautiful friendships, romance. You know, they have these beautiful bonds with males. <laughs> but you know, they're just lacking that last step. So anyway, that's that's my soapbox for, for the, like solving soap the dating box. problems of the men in the libertarian movement. Quit complaining about the ratio and just get more flexible. That's that's it. Right? <laughs> Have you guys heard the term homo and heteroflexible? Homo yeah. I have. Yeah, uh, one of my co-hosts, Dason, I think, calls himself heteroflexible. Yeah. 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 I think Dason's married with a kid. This isn't, I don't know, he may not be married. He's very so. progressive. I don't know. He, well, Dason actually said, uh, he, he told me one time that he basically had a friendship with a guy. The guy was gay. He was he considered himself straight, but they just loved each other so much as friends that he kind of like learned to express his love physically with another guy. I thought it was very touching. That is very touching. Yeah. But he said the first couple of times it was really weird. No, I would just be thrilled if guys, like totally straight guys, could hug without hitting each other. Yeah, like, can you, do, can you do a normal hug where you like just? It's okay if your palms. Touch the guy's back. If that's not gay, I, okay, I, just don't don't like, hit the back. So, oh no, macho hug. You know there was a celebritarian last night. I'm not gonna say who it was because he might want to be private. But he, it was a guy. He was tripping on shrooms. Okay, he comes up to. I can't imagine what that's like. I don't even know. I don't know either. <laughs> but those are illegal. It looked pretty fun because he comes he comes up to me and my partner um, Brian Sovereign at the at the bonfire. And he, he goes, oh, guys, I, I'm so happy to see you. I really like you. He gives Brian a big kiss on the cheek. And then he gives me a hug. And I said, what? <laughs> you kissed Brian? You didn't kiss me? His wires were all crossed <laughs> for a moment there. And then he said, oh, and he gave me a nice sweet kiss. But I had to ask for it. Yeah. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was nice. So anyway, the party last night was amazing. Oh, was amazing. yeah. Yes. I, I don't think like it was longer, because like three hours, it's been three hours in the past. They made it four, mm -hmm. and, and, and it was it, just it right, just I think, by. three flies by, has oh, always flown yeah. by, and I was like, it's over already? Yeah. yeah. We were just, I felt like we were just getting ramped up, you know? So, um, but yeah. Oh, it was just so much fun. I, so I had an unexpected moment. I. Um, I got kind of wild. I wasn't drunk. I wasn't using it. I was totally sober. Woo! But I was just having fun and I was dancing and like going on the stripper pole and I got an ounce of silver for dancing. I, and I got a lot of I that totally on video. Did not expect so that. those of you pay attention to Flaming Freedom. If you're okay with it, we'll put up oh, Flaming definitely. Freedom video on I, the I YouTube channel. I, I you know, I expect it to be I think video. I asked you already about that, yeah. yeah. So that'll be that'll be up on YouTube if you well, if I you're not subscribed, should be concerned about it because a lot of people were like, Do you, "Are you sure you want this posted?" <laughs> yeah. So if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel on on uh, for Flaming Freedom's YouTube channel, flamingfreedom.com, there are YouTube links all over the place. Just click one, and when you get there, hit subscribe. You'll be all set. Yes. This is. Thank you for joining us, yeah, Stephanie. For Check out Free Aid, by the way. Jacob yes. talked about it earlier. But we'll be right back. This is Flaming Freedom Live at Port Fest. Woo! -hoo!